Hey, well, thank you. Thank you for that. I swear I didn't pay him for that, but I might pay you after. I'll pay you commission. And here we have Fort Myers. City of Palms is their slogan. I haven't seen too many palm trees yet, but I will believe it. Let's see the sunrise. See the love in a woman's eyes. Feel the touch of a precious child. No other's love. Now I see the city of palms. There's palms all up and down this thing. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Welcome back to another episode of the Joel Hansen Show. Guys, here we are down at Mason's Famous Lobster Rolls in Fort Myers, Florida. And just look at these beauties. So we got literally the whole menu times two. Not to mention we have some of their delicious New England clam chowder. We also have some of their famous whoopie pies. Really, really cool. You can actually order these as kits online. I've never been to a place like a lobster roll kit place before. So these look delectable. So you'll be able to also enjoy them from the safety and comfort of your home. But yeah, so seriously guys, this looks excellent. So I will tell you what I have here in front of me. We'll go through each kind, what's on them. And let's eat some lobster rolls. All right, so here we have the classic lobster roll, pretty traditional mayonnaise lobster guys and like covered in butter there's so much butter on these guys this is gonna be like freaking delicious lobster and butter is just like the best thing ever we then have the uh, Connecticut lobster roll which is basically just lobster butter we have the lobster salad roll which is kind of more traditional what I grew up with so we're talking about lobster mixed in with the mayonnaise and we have some celery we have the lobster BLT which is basically like a BLT with like bacon lettuce tomato and lobster so that's like a BLLT we have the shrimp roll which is shrimp uh, mayonnaise, celery, all that good stuff. And last we have the Bar Harbor Roll, guys. So this is the big, big one. So this is a traditional lobster roll, and then they throw in an extra lobster tail on top. So you're talking like big style. But look at all these guys. This is actually like a lot of dang food. I didn't think it was gonna be this much. So I'm so excited. The portions of lobster are great. So let's get into this, guys. Let's enjoy this one and let's have some fun. All right, so I think it's only fair to start with probably the classic, and then I'll go for the Connecticut's, because these are the more, we'll say, Simplistic, but simplistic at its best, guys. All right, look at this lobster roll, guys. We got literally a buttered toasted roll. The lobster just looks exceptional. It's all coming fresh from Maine. So uh, let's give it a go. Actually, this is, this is big, actually. I, I don't know. This might be a couple biter. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. That is so good. I think I could have fit it all in my mouth if I really wanted to, but. If you've never had a lobster roll, guys, delicious lobster. That mayonnaise, that butter, oh my gosh, makes it so savory, so tasty. I don't know who ever made a lobster roll, but it is fantastic. Here's the Connecticut. So this is the one that's the most simplistic, in my opinion. It's just literally lobster and butter, but they smother it, smother it butter. So I'll try this one. I, I, I can probably one bite it, I'll try. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 Oh my god. Mm. That is a lobster. Oh. Absolutely perfect. Getting a nice warm sensation from the creek like the nice toasted bun. It's so buttery guys, it's so rich. Just yes. Yes. Mm. 
got my favorite San Pellegrino. Y'all know about that life. It's just a beautiful location, beautiful view down here. Right on first. The water's just over there. I'm looking out to sun and palm trees, guys. It's freaking awesome. I'm used to winter, and this is like, this is so amazing. This is the best winter ever. And I can eat lobster. This is the classic one again. And she just has lemon butter on it. I'm gonna hop over to one of these uh, shrimp rolls. Have a nice lobster. I'm really excited for this one. There's bacon on it, guys. Bacon and lobster. Mm. Okay. So this is like the mayonnaise, the celery, this is going to be very similar to what this um, lobster salad roll is. But again, to many places like Eastern Canada, what they're calling this lobster salad roll is actually more like traditional lobster roll. So it's always cool to go to different places and experience all different types of lobster rolls. Like I said, everything, they drizzled that butter on it. Woo wee, it is good. I almost lost the shrimp. So I think the right thing to do following that one would be with the lobster salad roll. Same style, instead of shrimp, we've got lobster. And guys, everything's been phenomenal, honestly. But, but I, I, that classic roll, even that Connecticut roll, it's on point. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm. I'm talking to mmms again. Hey everyone, so I just want to hop in here real quick because so many times people are like, oh I wish I could eat the food with you, which I always wish I could share, I always say that and I really mean it. And this time, I, you kind of can. So Mason's uh, Lobster Rolls here, they actually offer kits like you can order lobster roll kits online, they're shipped to you overnight, and it's available all across the United States. Fantastic guys. Just like that fresh lobster. That savoriness, that mayonnaise. The celery adds a crunchy texture. Just like the lobster that I had in store, the lobsters all come straight from Kennebunkport, Maine. Yes, I've tried saying that 10 times. I definitely would not. Um, you can like pick your flavors kind of like I did in store. You can pick like the classic, you can pick the uh, Connecticut, etc. You can also get their whoopie pies and their uh, clam chowder, all of which I actually have in this video. So that was pretty cool. Um, I mean, hey, it would make a good gift. It's like the best lobster kit you can get. I think it's probably the only lobster kit you can get. So if you want to try some real lobster rolls, guys, like I had today, you actually can get off the website or go visit them in store. So while the majority of these lobster rolls are served cold, I will say that Connecticut roll, I, like it was served warm, like I said. That was actually a very, very nice touch. All right, BLLT, lobster BLT, guys, got bacon, tomato, lettuce on this. This one would be cool. This is a very unique thing. I've never heard of a lobster roll with this on before. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go for another bite. So you're getting those same great flavors of lobster roll, 
the lettuce and the bacon pairing, those two flavors together, really changes the dynamic of it. Very, very unique. It's a, yeah, it's a diff definitely a different pairing. It definitely changes the flavor of the roll. And it adds a very different roll, uh, it's a different flavor, because the bacon is quite a strong flavor, so it tastes great, but it's definitely different than the class lobster roll. All right, and we saved the biggest for last. It'd be impossible to save the best for last because everything was all fantastic. So this is essentially your, your lobster roll choice, like the classic, kid nutty, etc. And then they put a full lobster tail on top. So, that's crazy. It's a lot of lobster. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess Bar Harbor is a place up in Maine, which is very beautiful. You can oversee all the harbors and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Woo! So let's try a Bar Harbor roll. I'm gonna try to bite it all, like everything together, and then I might have to take the tail off, worst case. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 Yes. I tell you guys, but I think it's like celery seed on there. That classic lobster roll. What a great flavor. I don't think you can ever go wrong with lobster. But you definitely cannot go wrong with like one of these rolls. Guys, it's too good. Growing up in such a cold part of the world, a lobster roll is like a summery thing for me. So it's super cool. But not only do you enjoy a beautiful and delicious lobster roll, smothered in butter, but I can do it in the winter. Florida, you guys got it going on. Look at that. I don't know if you can see this, but you know, I doused it in melted butter, which is now condensed and solidified a bit. Oh, it just smells so good. Butter. Very good. Very good. I just lost a piece on the floor. I forget that it fell all over my leg and I'm covered in lobster. What a shame. I'll eat it off the table, but I won't eat it off the floor. All right, that was delicious. Really enjoyed those lobster rolls. Like I said, I got lobster juices on my shorts, but I feel bad for the piece of lobster that had to fall on the floor. That being said, we have some of their New England clam chowder. I'm gonna crank into this. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a thick, creamy chowder. Ooh, oh wow, okay. Definitely, definitely. Strong seafood flavor. Very rich, very creamy. Actually, that's, that's really, really good. Good bit of solids in it. Definitely getting some clam action in there. Alright, so delicious chowder, love that roll. But now we got these whoopie pies. So 
So, whoopie pies is a thing that I never grew up with. I do think it's originating from America somewhere. Um, so, my first time ever seeing a whoopie pie was definitely when I was in the United States. I don't know where else and under what circumstances they're made or come by. Maybe it's a main thing. But it's basically like, how do I put this? It reminds me like a, kind of like a, if anybody knows what Joe Louis is, like a Joe Louis or it, basically it's like two pieces of cake, like a chocolateish kind of cakey thing with a thick cream in the middle. I think there's another name for it as well, um, for a whoopie pie. I've heard something else. I feel in Pennsylvania, they call it something else. Not a whoopie pie, but... Or there's like a cake, oh, I think it's gob cake? Gob cake or something like that? I feel there's something else like that, but... Look at that, it looks good. Let's give it a, give it a good old bite. Actually, it's like a, it's like a marshmallow fluff kind of this one. Mm. It's actually it's actually really good. There's two chocolate two layers of chocolate cake. It's like a thick kind of marshmallow fluff in between. It's rich. It's kind of sticky, kind of dense. Actually, I've had a few of these. This might be the best one I've had. Usually, it says kind of like a creamyish. This is almost more like a marshmallow fluffy gooey stuff. I like it. Just look at that. Really nice texture, really nice flavor. I think I will now forever pair lobster rolls and whoopie pies together. That's a good combo. I've never had a whoopie pie. Like I said, you can actually order these. It's super cool. We'll ship them nationwide. Along with the lobster roll kit. I tell you what. One, I'm gonna be back because like, four I got it going on, but in the meantime, I can enjoy some lobster rolls. All right. Absolutely delicious guys. So what I think my favorite tips today were, you know, I think it was the Connecticut lobster roll. I was a little skeptical. I was like just warm lobster and butter, but it is so good guys. Um, everything else was fantastic. The classic lobster roll was delicious. I really enjoyed the lobster salad roll. Like I said, it's kind of what I kind of grew up with, more traditional. But guys, seriously, Mason's, I see why these are famous lobster rolls. They're absolutely delicious. I 100% recommend. Guys, if you're ever down here in the area, please come check it out, Fort Myers. Uh, in the meantime, you can order yourself some lobster, ship straight to you, the packages, etc., etc. Um, so that's about it, guys. Shipped overnight, lobster, no complaints. So that, until next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. I sure, sure enjoyed it. Even if you enjoyed it like that much of what I enjoyed it, I know you really enjoyed it. So that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, say happy healthy, happy, happy eating. Huge thanks to Mason's, guys. Get yourself some lobster. I just had a lot. It was great, but mm, you just get yourself like one, maybe two. You don't need 12 like I did. With that, everybody, let's go see Florida. Let's go see Fort Myers. And that's about it. So just have a lovely day, have a lovely life. Eat some lobster. Manatee Park Welcome Center. Manatee Park, here we come. Look everybody, it's a manatee. So what's up y'all? Today we are at Manatee Park in Fort Myers, Florida. So Manatee Park, I guess, there's this like little area of like water, stream, I don't know what you call it, inlet, outlet, that manatees generally accumulate in because they go for the warmer water. Uh, I'll get you a little bit more of the history. There's there's a little informational video. I didn't watch it yet because um, it was kind of like it get replaced and it was already part way through it. But yeah, so what I did catch from it though is that manatees 
um, often, you know, have been getting damaged, like hurt, and then ultimately they die, generally from boats. So a manatee was that big thing I was standing beside. Honestly, if you're not, if you've never heard of a manatee, definitely give it a Google. But in a way, they almost kind of are like, I don't know, I don't want to say like hippos, but they're almost like water hippos. They're just kind of big animals, big mammal things that graze water, like plants in the water. Um, this is what one looks like. This one, of course, is dressed like a pirate, but they're kind of just like big, almost like, I guess you guys call it like a seal walrus looking thing. And they just kind of hang out. I guess specifically here in the warmer water. Um, it looks like actually maybe they even fenced it in. Holy crap. Look guys, I, I'm looking at them right now. Here, let's try to show you them. I think that's one, or it's an alligator. I don't know, it was something. I just saw some, some. But uh, yeah, big almost like water seal hippo things that just kind of float by the surface as I'm looking at right now. And that is why they get cut with boat motors. I, mean, I don't know if that's one, I guess that's one. See it, uh, there you go, you can like see their little backs and snouts. There you go, that's a big one right there. Um, and they just kind of, yeah, just munch around and because they just kind of float around and whatever, that's why they get hit by boats. So I think it's supposed to be like a safe place or kind of like a sanctuary in a way, um, but definitely a project to help preserve the natural wildlife. So let's try to see one of these a little closer. I've never seen one before. So there's part of one and you can actually see the white scars, which would have been from you know, a boat or something, presumably. Um, that's its big tail. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, okay, there you go. So, big kind of like seal looking things. Here's another one emerging. Oh, look, there you go. That's his head. Interesting. I have never seen one before. Pretty, pretty big. Not giant, at least that one didn't look giant, but massive. Wouldn't want to wrestle with one. Okay, so here we go. So they're actually related to elephants. That's very interesting. Um, and here's a comparison, like their toenails and stuff, which I will say they, you're right, they do have some, I guess, resemblance with uh, lips and trunks, nursing to elephants. Okay, so I was saying seals, I guess elephants is more accurate. That's, that's very interesting. And so apparently there is alligators here. Sciences do not feed the alligators. That's something that people have, uh, they said, they said pretty much every body of water in Florida has an alligator in. So I haven't seen one yet. To be honest, I would like to see one because why not? I mean, we are in Florida after all. Oh, that's very close on my face. There we go. Um, so yeah, hope maybe to see an alligator. I mean, the most I'd really expect would either be for him to be sunning but at this time of day, they probably already warmed up. They are cold-blooded. But maybe I'll get to see their snout, like them kind of just cruise in the water. Um, just a little one would be cool. But yeah, okay, so there's lots of also like trail systems here at Manatee Park and through the woods kind of, so I'm gonna see some more of it. But here's one part of water, which apparently again has alligators, which in the past somebody was feeding, hence the sign. But no alligators to be seen at the moment. Some boaters though, but we're looking for alligators. Let's get us up a gator. Go go get a gator. And here's an alligator. No, I'm just kidding, it's a fake one. Although I will say, when I came around the corner, I was a little, uh, I had to take a double take to make sure it was a fake one, but. So yeah, big old alligator. I guess, I, I, there go. technically I guess, I guess I gotta see an alligator, just not a real one. And here is Fort Myers. Now I see the city of Palms. There's Palms all up and down this thing. There's an old timey bus. I guess there's some uh, history with like Edson Ford and all that stuff. There's a beautiful looking water fountain. Actually this like little, this little area, this is like a really cool, this must be an old part of town. There's a great big, I don't really know what that is. Big building of some sort. But actually, yeah, this is like, this is super cool looking. This reminds me of, I know a little bit of like Charleston, South Carolina, a little bit of Cuba. Like, I don't know, it just, it looks, I feel like now that I'm here or like just at least on this road, I feel like I've gone back 
like a number of years. Like I've gone back a little bit in time, um, at like just that little section. So probably like that's probably the old kind of historic downtown area. I know I did see that on a map somewhere. There was kind of a historic uh, Fort Myers area. I'm assuming that was part of what we just went through, but uh, definitely, I mean, again, it's actually cold out. It's like in the high 50s right now. Um, still early in the day though. I'm sure it'll warm up a bit more, but yeah, it's uh, this is this is pretty cool. So yeah, four Myers.